here the sample two-way ANOVA table. As you can see, guys, the sample two-way ANOVA table here, we have for the source of variation, we have the sample, the columns, and the interactions. Now, the columns here, I'll just have my pen, let's have this color black. The columns here is equivalent, guys, to the what we call the treatments. Okay, that is equivalent to the treatments under one-way ANOVA and, of course, under the randomized block design. And for the samples, this is also the same with the rows or what we call the blocks. Okay, blocks and the samples are just the same and, of course, with the row, columns and treatments are just the same and these are the... The columns. <laughs> anyway, so for the interaction, this is the blocks multiplied to treatments. Okay, and when we say interaction, we are uh, looking if there is really an intersection, uh, interaction between the variable on the blocks and the variables on the treatments, whether the interaction exists or doesn't exist anymore. And the within, this is just the same with the error on our previous ANOVA topic. Okay, so that is the difference of two way ANOVA. We have here one, two, three, four rows inside our table, except for the total and of course the labels. Okay, that is for the two-way ANOVA. And of course, we have the sum of squares, the degrees of freedom, and the mean square. And of course, the F computed. Now, for the F computed and, the, and on the ANOVA table, we have now three F computed. First one is for the sample or the blocks. Second one for the treatment or the column. And the third one is for the interaction of the blocks and of course the treatment. So ha that is how the two-way ANOVA looks like. To all of you guys, welcome to our next topic. So for this presentation, we will going to have the two-way ANOVA or the two-way analysis of variance. So this will be the last type of an analysis of variance that we will going to discuss because actually we're done now with the one-way ANOVA and of course with the randomized block design. So this is the third and last type of ANOVA that we will going to discuss again two-way analysis of variance or simply two-way ANOVA, okay? So by definition, two-way ANOVA can be applied to analyze experiments where repeated measures are taken on one or both independent variables. So meaning, there are repeated items or repeated data inside our table. Now, uh, for you to be able to have the distinguished uh, meant if between the one-way and the two-way analysis of variance, we have here the partitioning of their SST or the sum of squares total. As you can see here, for the one-way ANOVA, the SSB is divided into three and that three subdivisions are the part actually of the two-way ANOVA. So SSB uh, into SSA, SSB, and SSAB. In one-way ANOVA, this SSB is for the degrees of freedom, that is C minus 1, or the number of columns minus 1. While in the two-way ANOVA, the SSA, this is, uh, the A is the factor A, B is the factor B, SSAB is the factor AB. Later on, I will differentiate what are those factors and their, of course, their interpretations. Okay, so SSA, for the degrees of freedom of SSA, it is equivalent to row minus 1. The, the number of rows we have in our table, minus 1. And for the SSB, the number of columns we have, minus 1. Okay? So for the SSAB, as you can see here, the degrees of freedom is equivalent to the degrees of freedom of the SSA multiplied to the degrees of freedom of the SSB, R minus 1 multiplied to C minus 1. Okay? And for one way or number, the SSW is the counterpart of the SST. E or the SS error in the two-way ANOVA. By the way, SSW in one-way ANOVA, as uh, if you still remember, that is sum of squares within groups. And for the two-way ANOVA, that sum of squares within groups is equivalent to the sum of squares of the error. Okay, so that's how uh, the that is the difference between the one-way ANOVA and the two-way 
ano ba? Okay? So, we have here the assumptions of two-way analysis of variance or the two-way ANOVA. For the first assumption, the samples are randomly selected with repeated measures in factor B. Because in the randomized block design, guys, there are no repeated measures. No? So, we have there one column, uh, so sorry, uh, four or more columns and of course the rows and the intersection between the columns and the rows is only one data or one uh, single single number okay while in the two-way ANOVA we have of course we have the columns or the treatment and we have the rows okay and the intersection between those two variables have repeated measures hindi lang nag-iisa yung nasa loob nun pwedeng dalawa, tatlo, apat depende sa data na meron tayo that is the first assumptions that this two-way ANOVA is saying with us okay for the second assumption it is just like the first and the, the one-way ANOVA and the RBD populations should have approximately a equal standard deviation that is what we call the homogeneous data because when we say heterogeneous, that is an equal standard deviation. This has been explained on our previous topic regarding the simple linear regression analysis. I hope you still remember and if nakalimutan na, you can actually uh, view it back, no? watch it again. For the third assumption, the population distributions must be normal. So your data must undergo first a test of normality or the normality test ng descriptive statistics. And the last and fourth assumptions of two-way ANOVA, population covariances are equal. Okay? So, we have here the sample two-way ANOVA table. As you can see, guys, the sample two-way ANOVA table here, we have, for the source of variation, we have the sample, the columns, and the interactions. Now, the columns here, I'll just have my pen. Let's have this color block. The columns here is equivalent, guys, to the, what we call the treatments. Okay, that is equivalent to the treatments under one-way ANOVA and, of course, under the randomized block design. And for the samples, this is also the same with the roast or what we call the blocks. Okay, blocks and the samples are just the same and of course with the row, columns and treatments are just the same and these are the, the columns. <laughs> anyway, so for the interaction, this is the blocks multiplied to treatments. Okay, and when we say interaction, we are uh, looking if there is really an interaction, uh, interaction between the variable on the blocks and the variables on the treatments, whether the interaction exists or doesn't exist anymore. And the within, this is just the same with the error on our previous ANOVA topic. Okay, so that is the difference of two way ANOVA. We have here one, two, three, four rows inside our table, except for the total and of course the labels. Okay, that is for the two-way ANOVA. And of course, we have the sum of squares, the degrees of freedom, and the mean square. And of course, the F computed. Now, for the F computed and on the ANOVA table, we have now three F computed. First one is for the sample or the blocks. Second one for the treatment or the column. And the third one is for the interaction of the blocks and of course the treatment so ha that is how the two-way ANOVA looks like okay so let's go now to have let's go now to our example problem so example two-way ANOVA an appliance repair service wish to study the effects of LED television brand and service center on the repair time measured in minutes so meaning to say we have here the two variables that we will going to discuss the television brand, LED television brand, and the service center with, re with respect to the repair time. Gaano katagal sila mag-repair no, yung mga service center per television brand. Okay? And the uh, unit of measurement is in minutes. So, if we have four LED television brands named A, B, C, and D. So, brand A, brand B, brand C, and brand D. 
were specifically selected for analysis. So for groups of brands ang meron tayo, no? meaning for treatments and for columns for our table. Each service center was assigned to perform a particular repair on two LED of each brand. Now, the results are on the next slide. So, let's have the results here. This is the table. As you can see, guys, A, B, C, and D, these are all the treatment. Okay? Or, in our case, this will be considered as the factor B. Okay, so let's have it here. Para maalala natin mamaya, no? These are the factor or B. Ayan, not A. Munti ko pa masulat A. This is the factor B. Those are the treatments. Lagay natin, no? Treatments. Ayan. Okay. And for the service center, these three service center are what we will going to to have the service center. Ito po ang magiging factor A natin. No, so, we have here as factor A. Okay, or in our table, di ba may nabanggit ako kaninang table sa one way, sa two way, ano ba? This will be the blocks, no? Yung mga yan. Blocks ang tawag dyan. Ayan, let's have it here. Blocks. Ayan, blocks yung one, two, three. Anong pinagkaiba ng two-way ano ba sa randomized block design and the one-way ano ba? Ikiklaro ko, no? With the one-way ano ba, wala pong service center dyan, walang label dito. Ang meron lang tayo is the labels for the columns which are the television brand A, brand B, brand C, and brand D. That is only the one-way ano ba. Magiging randomized block design siya. If we have labels po dito sa horizontal perspective, which are the service centers 1, 2, 3, if and only if yung intersection ng, for example, etong intersection ng column A and column uh, and row 1 is only 1. Kaso, isang number lang dapat yung nasa loob niyan. Same dito. Intersection ng column B, uh, ng column C, ito, and ng row number 2, dapat isa lang yung nasa loob niyan. Isa lang dapat, isang number lang. Magiging kapag ganun, randomized block design. Pero kapag naging two-way, ano ba po siya ang mangyayari, meron tayong repeated measures. May mga nauulit. Ito, in our case, dalawa yung repetitions. Ayan o, no? nakukuha ninyo. Sa intersection ng, ito, intersection ng column D and ng second row. O, ito, ito yung intersection nila. Dalawa. Kada intersection, meron dalawa. And kapag ganun, this is now two-way ANOVA. Sa Excel analysis natin, this is an ANOVA, no, two-way ANOVA with replication. Yung without replication, kapag ito, kunyari, wala yung 54, wala tong 46, ang nandito is 21. No, isang number lang, intersection ng D and 2, that will be considered as a randomized block design. Okay? I hope that is clear with you. So, I will delete my writings dahil nakakagulo siya. Ayan, para mamaya hindi kayo malilito. Ayan ang difference ng tatlo ha, wag malilito. Napakadali lang. Okay, now, the question is, using alpha level 0.1, no, level of significance natin, 0.1, letter A, is there an effect due to repair time between service centers? Lahat po ng data na to, para sa inyong kaalaman, nabanggit naman sa previous slide, all data na nasa table natin are measured in minutes. So, meaning, uh, television brand letter B and service center, kapag ito, yung brand B na yan, repair siya ng first service center, yung unang TV, tatagal siya ng 15 minutes, yung repair. Well, the second television, will last up to 56 minutes sa repair. No, ang tinatanong dito, is there an effect due to repair time between service center? Magkakaiba daw ba yung repair times ng service center 1 versus service center 2 versus service center number 3? May effect ba yun, yung yung repair time nila? Magkakaiba ba or pare-pareho lang? I hope you get it. 
Now, for the second question, is there an effect due to LED television brand? Baka naman kasi, yung magkakaiba din yung time kung gaano katagal nila repair yung naka, uh, nakadepende yung tagal sa television brand. Nung magkaiba ba yung tagal ng repair for television brand A versus television brand B versus television brand C versus television brand D. Na baka magkakaiba yun. Baka may effect yung, yung branding ng television. And for the third one, is there an interaction, take note sa term na ginamit, is there an interaction due to service center for each LED television brand. May interaction ba to? Ito, 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 ito. Yung mga repeated measures, yung mga repeated data natin. Meron ba, meron ba siyang effect? No? Kaya sa two-way ANOVA talaga, importante na meron tayong repeated measures dahil isa yun sa lagi tinatanong, no? yung interaction. Mamaya, sasagutin natin itong tatlong question na to. But for now, let's have the first Uh, step, tulad nung dating gawin, no? step by step tayo. First step is for us to state the hypothesis. So, as you can see here, guys, I have here factor A, factor B, and interaction between factor A and factor B. And again, nasabi ko kanina, our factor A will be the blocks or the service centers. So, ayun yung gawin natin na unang hypothesis. Meaning to say, what we will going to have here is, of course, tulad nung dati, we have the null hypothesis. Sinasabi natin dito sa null hypothesis, balikan natin, service center, anong tanong? Is there an effect due to repair time between service centers? No? So, i-compare natin si service center 1, service center 2, and service center 3. Yes, there is. No, walang effect. Pwedeng ganun. Sa dalawa yun, nandun yung sagot. Okay, so meaning to say, population sub 1, bakit po 1? Dahil 1, 2, 3 ang labeling natin for service centers. Dahil for television brands naman, ang labeling natin dyan is ABCD. Naka letters naman, ito naka numbers. Okay, now, we are saying here that the population 1 is equals to population 2. Again, kapag null equals lagi, which is also equals to population 3. So we are saying... That there is no evidence of a difference between the repair time of service center. And now, nakuha nyo, itong null hypothesis, sinasabi niya na kahit anong service center ka magpa-repair, okay lang. Pare-pareho lang po sila ng tagal ng repair time nila. Okay, that is what the null hypothesis is saying. Okay, so for the alternative hypothesis, simple lang naman yan, yung equal, gagawin nating not equals. So, mu sub 1 not equals to mu sub 2, which is also not equals to mu sub 3. So, our alternative hypothesis for our factor A, which is the service center, let's write it here para hindi natin makalimutan mamaya, no? So, service center. Okay, and this, for the factor B, let's have here television brand. Television brand. Okay? So, that will be our factor B. Again, we are saying here, guys, for the factor A that mu sub 1 is not equals to mu sub 2 is not equals to mu sub 3. Meaning, sinasabi natin na magkakaiba yung mga service centers ng length of time for their repairs. Okay? So, that is for the factor A. Now, let's go for the factor B. The question for factor B, we're done here. No? For the factor B, Is there an effect due to LED television brand? So, i-compare naman natin dito lahat ng treatments natin. No, lahat ng television brand. Magkakaiba ba yung repair time? Na, nakadepende ba yung repair time? And magkakaiba ba sila? Depende sa brand. A, B, C, and D. Therefore, our null hypothesis for the factor B will be mu sub a. Sir, bakit naging a? Not one. Dahil nga po, a ang labeling natin. Naka letters tayo ito, tapos naka numbers. Kasi kung gagawin mo yung one, may hilo ka na. No? Hindi mo na malalaman. Ano ba yung one? Service center or television brand? Nagahalo na, 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 na sa'yo yung blocks and yung treatments. Okay? So, null hypothesis equals mu sub a. 
which is equals to mu sub b, which is also equals to mu sub c, and also equals to mu sub d. So we are saying here on our factor b null hypothesis that there is no evidence of a difference between the LED television brands. And on the counterpart of our null hypothesis, we have here the alternative hypothesis which states that mu sub a is not equals to mu sub b which is also not equals to mu sub c and of course not equals again to our mu sub d we are saying here on the alternative hypothesis for factor b that there is an evidence of a difference between led television brand okay i hope you get it guys now since we are done with factor A and factor B, and that is the question letter A and letter B here, for the question letter C, is there an interaction due to service center for each LED television brand? May interaction ba or wala? Therefore, our hypothesis for the interaction between factor A and factor B will be, for the null hypothesis, um, uh, wag kayo malito, no? for interaction guys, more likely, nagiging textual na siya, hindi na mathematical sentence. Dahil mahirap i-convert into mathematical sentence. We are just saying here that the null hypothesis doesn't have any interacting effect no? between service centers and LED TV brands. Pero kung titingnan mo yung idea, sabi niya, there is no interacting effect. Parang sinabi mo na equal pa rin. No, ganun pa rin siya. Uh, same idea, it just so happened na different tayo ng pagkakalatag ng idea. Ito kasing factor A and factor B, we use mathematical sentence, mathematical equation, something like that, for the representation of the null and alternative hypothesis. For interaction, textual tayo. Okay? So, for H sub 1, or the alternative hypothesis, since dito, there is no, so dito, there is an interacting effect. Meron naman daw. No, merong effect yung between service centers and LED television brand. So, ganyan kadugo ang hypothesis for two-way analysis of variance. Okay? So, let's move on now to our next part which is the level of significance. Sabi dito, our level of significance should be 0 0.1. So, somehow naiba na, no? Before, ang ginagamit natin is 0 0.05. Pero ngayon, ang gagamitin natin is 0 0.1. So that will be our level of significance. So next, we should now determine the degrees of freedom and the critical values of F. Now, balikan natin muna before natin kuhanin yan. Balikan natin yung table. As you can still remember, guys, we have the degrees of freedom for sample or for the blocks. Degrees of freedom for columns or for the treatments. Degrees of freedom for interaction. Itong treatment, ito yung factor B. Same lang yun. For the blocks, ito yung factor A. Itong interaction will be considered as factor A and B. No, an error. This is the same with the error. Ayan, para hindi kayo malilito sa mga terminologies. Kap kapag ibang mga books kasi ang gamit nyo, ang tawag dyan, sample, column, yung iba naman naka-block, naka-treatment, iba-iba, yung iba naman naka-letters lang. So, ayan, nilagay ko na lahat para po sa inyo para hindi na kayo malilito. Okay, so next na tayo, nasaan na yun? This, uh, this degree, degrees of freedom. So we have here, degrees of freedom for A, which is our blocks, degrees of freedom for B, degrees of freedom error, degrees of freedom A and B, and of course, ang ating values for critical, no, critical F values. F sub A, F sub B, and F sub A and B. So let's start guys with the DFA. Okay, DFA, Department of Foreign Affairs. Anyway, uh, DFA, Degrees of Freedom for A. Ano po ulit yung A? No, Factor A are the service centers or our rows. Therefore, our formula for Degrees of Freedom sub A will be R minus 1. Or since we have 3 service centers, this, this will be 3 minus 1. And magiging 2 ang ating Degrees of Freedom sub A. Okay, I hope nakuha niyo po yun. Let's have here, I have here the blank uh, ANOVA table. Okay, sabihin ko ulit, no, this is factor A for the sample. Para hindi kayo malito. For the column, this is factor 
B. Okay? And for the interaction, this is factor A, B. Okay. Ang nasolve na natin ngayon is the degrees of freedom. Nasaan ang aking... Ah, hindi pa pala yan. Ito. Degrees of freedom sub A. Nasaan po yun sa table? Isulat natin, no? That is let uh, number 2. DFA ito. So, we have here number 2. Okay? And, ayan. Next natin, degrees of freedom B. And now, itong B, nasaan si B? Factor B. A, B, C, D. Since this is treatment and nakakulong siya, our formula will be C minus 1. Or simply, we have 4 treatment minus 1. This will be 3. So, degrees of freedom of the factor B. Let's write it here. We have 3. Okay, now for interaction, hindi po yan agad-agad na, ano ha, hindi yan agad-agad na mumultiply mo sila. Factor A and B yan, magkaiba yan. Ang formula dyan for the interaction or for the, ano ba unahin natin? Error ang nandito pala, no? O, error muna tayo. Okay, error muna tayo. DF error. For the error, guys, the formula is R or the number of rows multiplied to number of columns multiplied to N minus 1. So, we have here R is 3 times 4. So, 3 times 4 multiplied to N minus 1. Yung N dito is not the total number of samples na meron tayo. But rather, yung N dito, huwag pong kakalimutan, yung N dito stands for the number of replications. Again, the N on the two-way analysis of variance stands for the number of replications. Nasaan po yun? Ito. No, isang N yan. Isang N ito. So, kada isang in, uh, intersection has two N or has two replications. Therefore, our value for N will be 2 minus 1. Or, this is 2 minus 1, so this will be 1. So, 3 times 4 is 12. 12 times 1 will be 12. Our value for DF error now is 12. Nasaan yun? Ito, sa error. Lagay natin dito, no? Error. Okay, so this will be 12. Now, for the interaction or the DF sub AB, ito na yung kaninang binabanggit ko na imumultiply mo na lang sila na R minus 1 times C minus 1. Or simply, the formula is DF sub A multiplied to DF sub B. Or, we have here 2 times 3. So, basically, this will be 6. DF sub AB. Okay? So, 6. Now, for the total, wala na pong kahirap-hirap yan. We'll, jo we'll just go into add this number. So, we have 2, 3, 6 and 12. So, ang magiging degrees of freedom natin for the total is 23. Ayan. Tulad ng dating ginagawa natin, no? Lagi nating unang sinosolve si degrees of freedom with regards to the analysis of variance na table. Before natin sinasagutan itong sum of squares kasi ito yung medyo matagal na no, itong sum of squares. Anyway, so, we are done now with having the degrees of freedom. Ngayon naman, mag-proceed tayo sa ating uh, F critical values. So, for the critical value of A, this is actually equals to F sub nasaan po yung degrees of freedom for A? Ito, 2. No? So, F sub 2 and error. Huwag nyo kakalimutan, no? A and error. B and error. A, B and error. Ayun po, lagi ang coordinate ng F Critical. So, this will be 2 and 12. So, F, 2 and 12. Let's have here our table. Guys, kung papasin nyo ninyo, medyo iba na yung table. Dahil yung table last time na binigay ko, that is then an uh, F table for 0 0.05 alpha or 0 0.05 level of significance. This time, this is now an F table for 0 0.1 level of significance. You can have a screenshot for this para may copy kayo, no? Screenshot nyo, then i-crop nyo na lang for for your reference. So, dito, zero, again, 0 0.1 ito, yung previews natin on one-way ANOVA and on the randomized block design, that is 
for 0.05 level of significance. Mag-iiba-iba ang table na tawag dito. Mag-iiba-iba yung table na gagamitin ninyo based sa binibigay na level of significance na dapat daw natin gamitin. Anyway, I have given to the coordinator the complete list of all the uh, statistical tables that you will be needing no? sa pag-aaral ng stats. So, hanapin na natin. Ha? Saan na? 2 and 12. So, we have 2 and 12. Ito po. Now, let's use two decimal places. So, this is 2.81. Okay? So, F critical for this will be 2.81. Next, F sub B. Again, B and error. And the B for degrees of freedom is 3 and, of course, the error. 3 and 12. So, hanapin ulit natin sa table. 3 and 12. Magkatabi sila. 2 decimal places tayo. 2.61. So, let's have it here, 2.61. For the F sub A and B, critical values, A and B na degrees of freedom is 6. 6 and error na 12. Okay, so F, 6 and 12. Nasaan po siya dito? 6 and 12. Ayun. No, 2.33. So, let's have it here, 2.33. Okay, so we're done with the degrees of freedom and the critical values. Now, we can now compute, guys, for the value of F natin ng two-way ANOVA. Okay, nasaan po yung two-way ANOVA natin na mga formulas? We will be having there, guys, SSFA, SSFB, SSE, SST, MSFA, MSFB, MSAB, And of course, the F sub A na computed, F sub B computed, F sub A B computed. Napakadami. Pero for now, let's have our first na solution muna. I think better na mag-start tayo sa SSFA. No? So, at nagkalin mo natin yan para hindi kayo malula dahil sa sobrang dami. I-explain ko po yan isa-isa. Don't worry. Step by step tayo para hindi kayo mahihirapan. Okay? Let's solve this. Lahat yan ng manually using Excel. And of course, manually ulit using the Excel pa rin. Ah, hindi na manually. Using Excel pa rin pero data analysis. Ulitin ko, no? Let's solve this using Excel manually and Excel na data analysis, yung hindi na siya manual, mabilisan ng lalabas. Ay, tuturo ko pareho. So, I have here the Excel ng ating two-way ANOVA, yung given. Ayan, parehong-pareho po yan, yung given. And, nag-prepare na rin ako dito ng ANOVA table. Pero, wala pang laman. Ang may laman pa lang tayo for now ay yung mga degrees of freedom. No, kopyahin natin. Sige. So, kopyahin natin. Ah, uh, 2 for factor A, 3 for factor B. So, let's have here 2, tapos 3, factor A, B, and error is 6, 12, tapos 23. So, let's have here 6, 12, and since this is total, guys, you you can use the Excel function na sum. Yeah, 23. Okay, so for the SS ng A, no, sum of squares for factor A. The formula dyan, guys, is, I will write the formula, variance, please, I hope, gumagawa kayo ng notes, sana sinusundan nyo ako, so, variance of black means, oops, variance of black means multiplied to raw data, kung ilan sila, almost the same, with our formula on the randomized block design. So, let's go on our Excel. Again, variance of block means. The question now is, meron na ba tayong mean for block? Again, this is the block. No, ay, block 1, block 2, block 3. We already have the mean. No, actually, wala pa. And for the mean na to, no, imimin po natin, since meron tayong replication sa loob, imimin natin yung mga kasama yung mga replication. Hindi tayo kukuha ng ilan lang dyan. Kukuhanin natin silang lahat. That's why, as you can see here on the column F of the F Excel, I have merged the two cells, merged two cells, merged two cells. Kasi for the means per block, kasi po, again, ang formula, variance ng mga block means. Eh, anong kukunin mong variance kung wala ka pa ng block means? So, i-mean muna natin before kunin si variance before i-multiply sa raw data. Okay, I hope you get it. 
So let's have the mean here equals then average. Mean is just the average. Average neto. Ayan. And copy. Oh, mali, mali, mali. Ay, tama pala. Sorry. Ayan. Copy and paste dito. Paste dito. Okay. Pag kung gusto nyo yung i-center yan, then just click here. Center. Click na na sila. That is now the mean. Ano next natin? Kuhanin po natin yung variance. Since this is a population, so variance of the population, then highlight itong tatlo, and enter. We have now the variance which is equivalent to 7.875. So for the value of this uh, sum of squares, sabi doon sa formula, variance of black means, meron na tayo, di ba? That is the 7.875 times the raw data. Ano yung raw data? Kung ilan po sila. No, actually, pwede mo yan gamitan ng count na formula. Bilangin natin. Kung tamad ka magbilang, no? Bilang mo sa Excel. Count. Ayan. Sabi niya, 24. So, delete na natin. Aram na natin, 24. So, ito, multiply to 24. Or, kung tamad ka pa rin magbilang, nandito ka na sa part na yan, count, tapos highlight mo sila. Count. Ayan. Okay, so 189 is our value for the sum of squares for the factor A. Okay, I hope you get it. So next we have the sum of squares for factor B. Almost the same guys for factor B. The formula here is the variance. We have here variance of treatment naman. Dahil treatment ang B, ba? Diba? Sabi natin doon sa first part of the problem. Treatment yung columns. So, variance of treatment means multiplied to raw data. By the way, guys, if you will check other statistics book or any other online resources, napakahaba po ng formula na to. No, lahat ng binigay ko dito, eto, yan, lahat ng yan, napakahaba ng mga formulas. Ang binibigay ko sa inyo ngayon is yung pinakamadaling paraan or pinakamadaling formula na pwede nating gamitin. In fact, no, meron nga dito isang formula sa anong ano ba 'yun? Sa SSE. Ito yung next, next natin, SSE. Ako yung uh, nag-develop na ako ng formula, same lang naman ng result. No, uh, personal ko siyang dinevelop. Nakakatuwa pa naka-invento ako ng formula tapos tama. No, ayun yung i-share ko sa inyo para mas mabilis dahil actually napaka-tedious nitong two-way ano ba compared sa randomized and sa one-way. Kaya ginawan ko talaga ng paraan para mas madaling maitindihan ng mga students. No, mas madaling tindihan step by step, very detailed yung explanation. Okay? So, ang dami ko nang sinabi. Let's go back to SSFB. Variance of treatment means and multiplied siya sa raw data. So, let's go back to our Excel. So, variance of treatment means. Anong kukunin mong variance kung wala ka pang treatment means and these are our treatment treatment a b c and d so meaning to say we will have the mean first so mean or rather the average ng mga columns na yan okay, so average and copy paste if you want it to be centered click na lang po ito okay ayan centered na meron na tayong variance aba na tayong means ang next natin is kunin si variance ng mga means na yun So, highlight, enter. O, yan. Meron na tayo. And that will be for factor A. Again, variance daw ng mga treatment means multiplied kung ilan sila yung raw data, which is 24. So, kung gusto nyo, gamit ulit kayo ng count na function para sure. Baka kasi nagbago yung bilang nila. <laughs> Same lang naman yan. No? That is 124.5. That is for our sum of squares ng factor B. Okay? So, next natin will be the sum of squares error. Hindi na mo natin uh, kukuhanin itong interaction dahil medyo matagal yung computation. Mag-error muna tayo. Lagyan na dito error. Para tapos, i-minus na lang natin. Madaling makuha yung total eh. Tapos, itong error. Then, minus na lang. Technique yan para mas mabilis. So, our formula, ito yung nasabi ko kanina sa inyo. SSE is equivalent to the summation of x minus x bar sub r squared. Ano po yung ibig sabihin nito? 
No, so the formula is stating that every number na nandoon sa table natin, i minus natin sa mean ng R. Ano yung R? R here stands for replication. Balikan natin to. No, ano yon? Ito, 60 and 70. That is the replication for treatment A and block 1. 60 and 70, ano yung average nila? Ito po, sabi sa baba, oh, 65. So, ayun yung X bar sub R. No, 65. Ibig sabihin, when we say X minus X bar sub R, that will be 60 minus yung average nila, which is 65. So, 60 minus 65. Or, pwede rin naman, 70 minus yung average nila, which is 65. Meaning, 70 minus 65. Ayun yung x minus x bar r. Gagawin po natin yan sa lahat. Then, kung ano yung makompute is square. Then, lahat ng data na yun, isa sum. Ayun yung binabanggit ng sum of squares error. Ito yung napaikli kong formula. No? Napakahaba ng original na formula niyan. Gawin po natin. No, meaning to say, ang pinakauna natin dapat makuha dito is yung mean ng mga replications para i-minus na lang natin lahat doon. Okay? So, kuhanin natin yung mean ng lahat ng replications. Let's have it here. Ang average, ah, hindi. Ang gawin natin pala muna, since this is replications, i-merge muna natin lahat ng mga cells. Tigda dalawa. So, merge natin yan. So, So, ayan, we are merging the cells. So, nakaapat na tayo, no? We need to have additional two rows na merge. Ayan, okay na. Oops, hindi pa pala naka nakipaste. P and paste. Okay, so we have now ito, i-hide the lagyan kong box para makita niyo. Ayan, naka-merge na 'yung mga cells. We need to have here the average ng ating mga Average ng mga excess natin sa loob. Okay? So, average natin ito. Average. This. And copy-paste, guys. Makukopy na naman yung formula nyan. Same with this one. Hanggang sa pinakababa. Okay, and if you want to center, ito lang. O, yan. So, ito, itong part na to is already the average of the replications inside our table. Okay? Now, let's go back to our formula. Anong sinasabi ng formula? We have now the average. So, ang kailangan natin gawin ngayon is kuhanin natin yung values for x minus x bar sub r. So, isa-isa sila. No, itong 60 minus 65, 70 minus 65, 50 minus 52, 54 minus 52, 62 minus 63, 64 minus 63. So, ayun po yung sinasabi at netong part na to ng ating formula. Then, after nyan, i-square naman natin silang lahat. Okay? I hope you get it. So, let's start our computation dito sa ating Excel. So, let's start dito. 60 minus 65. Since ito rin yung gagawin natin, gagamitin natin, No, mamaya, for 70, if F4 na natin siya to lock the cell. So, copy and paste. Ito, kung titignan nyo, no, ang nakuha nyo na na ngayon is not the B4, but rather the B5 na nag-adjust na siya. Okay, ganun lang naman siya. So, ganun din ang gagawin natin for this one. 650 minus 52 and lock okay then copy and paste next 62 minus 63 f and f4 and enter copy and paste okay so dito naman tayo sa second na treatment we have 50 minus 53 lock Oops. 50 minus 53, then lock natin, and paste here. Next, we have 53 minus ito, 55, then lock, copy, and paste. Next, we have the last one, 54 minus 60, lock, copy, and paste. So, ayan, next. 
So, yung method dito, we have 58 minus 60. Let's lock, copy, and paste. Next, we have 48 minus 56. Lock, copy, and paste. Last, we have 46 minus 49, FNF4. Lock, copy, and paste. For the last treatment, we have here 60 minus 62. Lock, copy, and paste. Next, we have 54 minus 50. Lock, copy, and paste. Next, we have 51 minus this one. Lock, copy, and paste. Okay, now, we are done with this part of the formula. X minus X bar sub R. Ang next po natin gagawin is to have the square of all those X's. Which is eto na. No, square natin lahat ng laman ng table na to. So, square natin ito. Copy. Paste. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Then, dito rin. Okay. Ito na yung mga squares, guys. This is the square of these values. Okay. And, dahil na square na, summation na ang kailangan natin kuhanin ngayon. No, so, mapakadali lang ng summation. Sum mo lang itong lahat ng values na ito. Sum. 354. So, meaning to say, our sum of squares error will be 354. Okay. So, lagay natin dito. No, for the error, we have here. No, 354. Ayan. Nabubuo na. Pakunti-kunti ang ating ANOVA table. Sulat din natin sa ating PowerPoint. No, 354 ang value. Where's our ANOVA table? Ito. 354 for the error. 354. Okay, for the SS factor A, 189. Lagay na rin natin. Next, for the factor B, 124.5. 24.5. Okay, so let's go back to our formula. Our next na gagawin, since nakuha na natin itong SS error, our next now is to have the SST or the sum of squares total. Now, for this uh, variable guys, our formula for this is actually the same with our formula na ginamit sa previous ano ba natin just like on the RBD which is summation of x squared minus g squared over n okay? okay, so since the formula for SST is summation of x squared minus g squared over n what we need to do first here is to have the values of x squared and in our case, if we will go back to our Microsoft Excel, the excess are the value of this table, no each value. So meaning, we need to have first the values of those uh, numbers in squared. No squared muna natin sila. So 60 raised to 2 squared natin. And that is 3,600. So copy-paste natin para sa ibang mga... Value. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Our table is actually ano eh, uh, 6 by 4. Ayan, so, copy paste. Ayan. So, ito na po yung table natin or the values for the x squared. And we need now to have the summation. So, summation of x squared. Dito na lang tayo mag summation total. So, sum natin ito. That is now the summation of x squared. Now, okay na tayo dyan. We need to have now the g squared. g means the grand total of our raw data. Ito po yung total yun. So, i-total natin. Dito na lang siguro. No? Sum. And highlight natin buong ito. Oops. Ito, highlight natin yan. And raise to 2. Okay, so ito ang value ng ating g squared. So far, wala namang nabura, no? Okay. So ito ang value ng ating g squared. Nakasam lang yung b4 to e9. Okay. Now, for the value ng n, simple lang, we need to have the count formula or the count function ng Excel. Bilangin lang natin ilan lahat to. That is the n. 
one that is the 24. Now we need we we have now the summation of x squared, the g squared, and the n, so we can solve the whole equation. So summation of g x squared is this minus the g squared. Ito po divided by our n. So upon entering the value of our SST is 1,042.5. So ito na siya. I equal na lang natin dito. 1,042.5, okay? So, we have now the SS for factor A, sum of squares factor B, sum of squares for error, and sum of squares for total. Isulat natin natin ito sa ating ANOVA on the PowerPoint. So, 1,042.5. Where's our ANOVA table? Ito. 1,042.5. So, anong kulang natin ngayon? As you can see, guys, ang kulang natin is the sum of squares for the interaction or the sum of squares for factor A and B. And for us to be able to solve that, as you can see, ito kasing lahat ng yan, kapag tinotal mo yan, ang equivalent niya is the 1,042.5. So, meaning, let's just have the total of these three and I-minus natin yan dito sa 1,042.5. The answer will be the interaction. The SS interaction. Okay? So, madali lang gawin yan. Let's go to our Excel. So, here, total, minus the summation of these three numbers. This one, this one, and this one. And let's close the formula. Okay, so meaning to say, bakit nag-negative, ano ang, ang kulang natin, 1, 2, bakit nag-3,600 ang ating error? Meron natin, may napalitan yan dito. Ayun, nag-iba oh. Ang ating formula for this is not, ayan, but rather, SSE. Is 354. Nasa ayang 354. Ah, nawala. Na-delete ko kanina. Okay. Lagay na lang natin na 354. Ayan. So, formula guys for interaction. Again, total minus yung summation ng factor A, SS, SS factor B, and the SS error. So, we have here 375. 354 itong error. No, ayan. Tama naman. And of course, ayan, 375, isulat natin sa ating PowerPoint presentation. 375 for the interaction. Okay, ito lang naman yung medyo mabigat na part for having the two-way ANOVA table, yung mga sum of squares lang. For the DF, okay na, nasolve na natin. For the MS, let's go back to our previous slide for the formula ng MS. MSFA, eh, MSFE, and MSAB. Of course, MS. E, ano ng mga formula nito? So, as you can see, tulad po ng one-way ANOVA and ng, ng randomized block design na ANOVA natin, for the MS, i-divide lang natin ito, dito, ito, dito, ito, dito, ito, dito. No, napakadali lang. So, basically, for MSA, our formula is SSFA divided by DFA. So, let's write it here. SS FA divided by the degrees of freedom for the factor A. No, ganun lang. Okay, for S, MSFB naman, that is SSFB, itong 124.5, divided by the degrees of freedom ng factor B. So, isulat natin. That is SSFB divided by the degrees of freedom of factor B. Next, for MSAB naman, that is basically the sum of squares for factor AB, SSFAB, divided by the degrees of freedom for factor AB. So, let's write it here. SSFAB divided by the degrees of freedom of A and B. Lastly, we have the mean square for error, that is sum of squares for error, or the SSE, divided by the the degrees of freedom for error. So, let's have it here. SSE divided by the degrees of freedom for error. Ganun lang, no? Napakadali lang. We can actually solve that ng mabilis sa ating Excel. So, let's go back to our Excel. 
this one divided by this one, enter and copy paste the formula hanggang dito. That's it, no? We already have the ms values. Now, for the last part, pwede natin itong kopyahin, by the way. No, let's have two decimal places. Ayan, two decimals tayo. I-kopyahin muna natin yung values ng mga ms, no? So, 94.5 for factor A. 94.5 for the factor B, 41.5. Okay, for the interaction, we have 62.5. 62.5. And for the error, that is 29.5. Okay, patapos na tayo. Ang natitira natin is yung mga F-computed na lang. Okay, so let's go back sa ating PowerPoint presentation, previous slide. Guys, for the values of F sub A na computed, F sub B na computed, F sub A, B na computed, ang technique dyan is lahat ng mean square natin, i-divide natin for the mean error. So, 94.5 divide 29.5, 41.5 divide 29.5, 62.5 divide 29.5. Meaning to say, the formula for the F to computed Sub A is MS F A all over MS E. For the F sub B computed, that will be MS F B over MS E. So as you can see, lahat divided sa MS E. So for the uh, F computed for the MS A B, that is equivalent to MS E. Okay? So, those are the formula for our F computed. And let's now compute the F computed sa ating Excel. So, let's have it here. Ito, divided by sa mean square error. And let's uh, ano, uh, kon, il ilak natin. No? Ilak. Dahil lahat will be divided sa MST. So, enter, copy, and paste. Okay, now we have now our final two-way ANOVA table. And this two-way ANOVA table, guys, is check natin, no, kung tama or mali ito. We have here the data analysis na function ng ating Excel. So, check natin. Make sure na activated na yung data analysis nyo. No, just go here, click data, and of course, the data analysis na part. And dito, we have ANOVA Two-factor with replication, single-factor, two-factor without replication. Since our topic is with replication, nabanggit ko nga kanina, no? In every intersection of our, uh, what we call this, column and row of our treatment and blocks, now ulit siya. So, meaning with replication ang pipiliin natin. Then, click OK. So, dito sa ating input function, upon clicking the OK, no, ang, it, ang input range natin, make sure na kasama yung labels no kasi kung hindi medyo malilito si ano si Excel so kasama si labels and rows per sample ito yung replication eh okay so that is 2 and alpha level natin for this problem is 0 0.1 let's go back to our problem ito oh ah uh, nasaan si problem ito sabi niya 0.1 1 level of significance. So, 0.1 ang nilagay natin dyan. And for the output range, we want to have the output dito. Magsisimula sa G2. Okay? So, click this. And, upon clicking, no, ibibigay niya kaagad sa'yo. Maglo-loading lang siya saglit. Then, ibibigay niya sa'yo yung final na ANOVA table. Which is this one. Check natin kung tama tayo. 189, 124, 375, 354. 189, 124, 75, 354. Tama naman. For the F value, for the F computed, 3.20, tama. 1.41, tama. 2.12, tama. And may bonus pa na P value and F critical. Actually guys, ang titignan nyo lang naman dyan is yung comparison ng F computed and the F critical. No, for sample, for columns, and for the interaction. Okay? I hope that is clear with you. So, meaning to say, tama po yung ginagawa natin na manual computation. So, let's go back to our PowerPoint presentation for us to be able to have our decision rule. 
and the conclusion. Okay? So, balik tayo ngayon sa hypothesis before tayo mag-decision rule and conclusion. Based on our hypothesis, guys, uh, I hope you still remember that we have the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis for factor A, factor B, and in the interaction between the factor A and the factor B. Therefore, what I am trying to say now is magkakaroon din po tayo ng decision rule for factor A, factor B, and the interaction between factor A and B. And of course, if we have the decision rule for those three sets of hypotheses, we will also going to have the conclusion for factor A, factor B, and the interaction between factor A and factor B. Okay? So now, let's go to our decision rule and the conclusion. For factor A muna tayo. Now, decision rule for factor A. Since the computed F value, which is 3.20, nasaan po yun? Nasa ANOVA. No, eto. I-zoom natin para makita ninyo. So, we have here 3.20 na computed. And yung critical is 2.8. So, meaning, i-drawing natin. Balik ako sa PowerPoint. Meaning, if this is the... I'll just have the pen color block. Meaning, if this is the 2.8, tapos, ito yung critical uh, region sa ating graph. I hope you still remember the itsura ng ating graph. Yung computed natin is nandito. 3.20, nasa kanan. No? Nandoon yung computed. Ibig pong sabihin, sabi nga dito, since the computed F value, 3.20 is greater than the F critical value of 2.81 at level of significance 0.1, the statistical decision is to reject the null hypothesis for factor A since the computed value ay nasa rejection region. And since nireject natin yan, balikan natin ang ating hypothesis, nireject natin ang null. Rejected yan. Meaning to say, Tama ang ating alternative na nagsasabing conclusion. Since we reject the first null hypothesis, we can conclude that there is, there is, yung term, there is evidence of a difference on the repair time between service center. Ibig pong sabihin na magkakaiba talaga yung mga repair time ng mga service center. Merong difference dahil nga tama ang ating alternative. And that is only, guys, for the factor A, for the service center. Magkakaiba sila. Ah, hindi. Doon ka na sa mas mabilis. No, ganun yung idea. Ano yung mas mabilis? Check mo ulit yung mga mean and yung variances ng ANOVA result natin. Okay? So, that is the conclusion and, of course, the decision rule for the factor A. Now, let's go for the factor B. For the decision rule, since the computed F value, which is 1.41, is less than the F critical na 2.61, this is the 2.61, rejection region ito, nasa ano 1.41, nandito. So, hindi siya pasok sa rejection region. Ito po yan, no? 2.60 tapos 1.41. Hindi siya pasok sa rejection region, therefore, the statistical decision is to fail to reject the null hypothesis for factor B. And since we fail to reject the null hypothesis, we can conclude that there is no evidence of a difference in the repair time between LED television brand. No, fail to reject null hypothesis. Ibig sabihin, nasa ang ating hypothesis? Uh, fail to reject. Ibig sabihin, tama ito. Ibig pong sabihin, yung factor B natin, television brand, walang, walang ano yon, walang effect yon kung ano man yung brand niya. Kahit anong brand, pare-pareho lang yung service center. It just so happened na sa service center natin sa Factor A, meron talagang difference. May mga service center na matagal gumawa, may mga service center na mabilis gumawa. Pero, the brand of the television doesn't have to do, nothing, 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 nothing to do with the conclusion natin na meron difference yung time ng paggawa niya. No, na nakadepende sa brand. I hope that is clear. So, next natin, we have the last one for factor C. Decision rule for factor C. Since the computed value, which is 2.12, is less than the F critical, 
which is 2.33 at level of significance 0.1 nasaan po yun? ito yung nasa ating last part 2.11 versus 2.33 F critical 2.33 mas maliit pa rin kahit pa paano CF value so if we will go into graph this is the 2.33 rejection region nasaan si 2.12 nandito no, so hindi siya pasok doon sa rejection region wala siya I hope naalala niya pa yung drawing natin before no distribution. Anyway, ayan, na, na, dumudulas yung aking pen. Uh, 2.33, mas malaki doon sa 2.12, at level of significance 0.1. The statistical decision now is to fail to reject denial hypothesis dahil hiwala siya doon sa rejection region for the interacting effect of factor A and factor B. And since we fail to reject denial hypothesis, the third null hypothesis, we can conclude that there is no evidence of an interacting effect between the service centers and LED television brands. So, wala silang effect sa isa't isa. Walang interacting effect ang LED television brand and of course, yung service center, yung time of service ng mga service centers. That is our decision rule and conclusion for the factor C. Okay, and that ends up our discussion regarding the two-way analysis of variance. I hope everything is clear with you. I hope nagawa kong ipaliwanag yung difference ng one-way ANOVA to randomized block design to two-way ANOVA. I hope guys everything is clear and, and I'm hoping that by this time, this is our last uh, topic. Uh, I hope na appreciate ninyo yung value ng statistics and how it is applied in the real world scenarios. So, I'm looking forward sa magandang college journey ninyo. I'm looking forward sa mastery of the subject and sana, no, may apply nyo ito sooner or later. Okay? So, thank you for being with me for this presentation. Keep safe always. See you on our next presentation if ever na meron pa, no? See you guys somewhere. Keep safe always. Goodbye. Enjoy the rest of the day and of course, enjoy the rest of the week.